It is high noon. The Rays and the Orioles square off in the second game of this two game set. For the Rays today, it's Taj Bradley, who has absolutely terrific stuff. The one two, and he got him. A strikeout, and he stayed away from the hard stuff. Yes, he did. I'll tell you that. That'll put something in Gunnar Henderson's head, too. And he got it. Well, he started him with the hard stuff, finishes him with the fastball at 96 there. So back to back strikeouts, one on the change, one on the fastball. Tyler Wells not giving up many base runners this year. Nope. And that's the whip. Leads all uh, the major leaguers, walks and hits per nine innings. And there's a leadoff walk. Now Wander Franco. Outside corner, strike three. So he goes back door with the cutter. Franco is frozen. Ground ball right back to Wells. He'll throw to second. There's one. Frazier to first. You can count it for two. A 1 4 3 double play. And Randy Rosarena will get it started. Just missed tying the game yesterday. There's a high shot deep into left. Hayes will go to the wall. That baby's gone. Home run of Rosarena. A Rosarena with the range on that one into left center field. And the Rays grab an early lead. I want to see what the time on this home run trot was because I think Randy is really, really relishing that home run after getting drilled by Felix Bautista last night late in that ball game. He's certainly enjoying this one. So the Rays grab the lead. And Isak Paredes, right hand batter. It's all coming together. <laughs> There's a shot down the line toward the corner, and that ball. Go back to back, and it's two nothing Rays. Gone back to back home runs. Paredes after a Rosarena, and the Rays take a two nothing lead. Back to the mound, and it gets right through Wells. Margot will reach. The ball wound up in possession of Mateo after Wells saw it get away from him, and on the error. He won right there. The Rays have a base runner. Well, if Tyler Wells is not yet rattled, he will be now. Two homers and errors, and now a walk, and two on, nobody down. Into center field, Hicks is right there to make the catch. Tag at second. Margot's going to go to third. He is in there safely, and trailing into second is Wall. Hey, Margot doing a nice job. They're going to challenge Hicks' arm. Walls stopped halfway between first and second. Then when he realized it goes over, and then he continues on. Infield comes up. Second and third, one out. Jose Siri at the plate. And a little tapper. That will be picked up and thrown away by Wells. Margot has already scored. Walls crossing the plate and down to second base, Siri. Well, a big swing and a little tap. Margot scored easily. And then the only play was first, and Wells threw that away. And he wasn't going to get him anyway. And, and I think we can say now officially rattled. This has been a nightmare inning for Tyler Wells. Well, the Rays off to quite a start. They lead 4 0 over Baltimore as we go to the third. Ramon Urias. Urias hits it well, center field. Back goes Siri, and this is gone. It's a homer for Ramon Urias. A frozen rope over the center field fence. And after what just happened in the second, that is the lift that the Orioles needed to begin the third. That got out like a rocket to straightaway center field. A solo homer for Ramon Urias, and the Orioles are on the board. In the bottom of the fourth inning, Taylor Walls leads it off against Tyler Wells. Looper short center, that will fall in front of Aaron Hicks. And Taylor Walls is aboard for the second time. But I'd like a photo of Tyler Wells, Taylor Walls, and Tyler Wall. Oh, it's close play, but safe. Ooh. I think the Orioles are going to challenge this. They're trying to go to that back corner of the bag and navigate around Urias's foot. Oh, I think he might be out. I think so. Seems to show that those fingertips are not quite at the bag. After review, the call in the field is overturned. The runner is out. Baltimore retains their challenge. Walls picked off at first base. Tyler Wells, check. Tyler Wall, check. Taylor Walls, check. That's it. I mean, we'll just take a screenshot and see if they'll sign it. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Siri slams the bat down. Back-to-back -back K's for Tyler Wells. He faces the minimum in the fourth. 
There's one out here in the fifth inning. Adam Frazier. Wide drive and all oh, in and out and back in to the glove of Isak Paredes. Nice little act there. Just a little finesse work for out number two. That might be the best move of our Jumbotron this season. They're playing the Harlem Globetrotters music. <laughs> Swing and a miss. Three is out on strike. Strikeout number seven of the day for Bradley. Three up, three down in the fifth. To start the home seven. Four one raise in front. Jose Siri, number nine hitter. Swinging a ball, lined over second. It's going to drop a base hit for Jose Siri. So he has a two hit day. And the Rays looking for some insurance up 4 1 in the seventh. And he's been in a little bit of a funk. He has walked, popped out, and grounded out today. Three two and a base hit shot up the middle. Pass Aiken over to third goes Siri with a look around his shoulder to see how that play was developing. It's first and third, nobody out. Did you say pass Keegan or through Keegan? <laughs> I mean, I thought this ball was going to smoke him. So here's a great opportunity. Wander Franco looking for his first hit of the day. He has it first, Siri at third. And this popped into shallow center. Hicks is coming in, sets up to make the catch. Tag at third. Siri heads to the plate. He's going to score. And as he does, Diaz moves up to second. And the Rays add to their lead. It's 5 1. Yandi advances to third. Randy runs Arena now with an opportunity. Randy with 49 runs batted in. And now he has 50. He's hit into center, scores Yandi Diaz. Randy picking up his second run batted end of the day his third hit he's been on base four times and the Rays with a two run frame make it six one and ball four and that pushes Margot up to second and we'll get Yandy Diaz to the plate with an opportunity Yandy one for three and a base hit shot into right Margot on his way to the plate he will score Yandy not wasting any time Picks up a run batted in, jumping on the first pitch, getting Margot home from second base, and it's seven to one. To look at Zach Littell, who's on to work the ninth inning with the Rays holding a 7 1 lead. Couple outings for Littell, and he'll be dealing with the top of the lineup. And here's Henderson against Littell, oh. drives this one center field. <laughs> Siri looking this one back, it is a no doubter for Gunnar Henderson. There's your start in the ninth inning as Henderson goes deep, and it's now a 7 to 2 ball game. He now has as many home runs as anybody in the Orioles. This ball is crushed. Siri just turns around and kind of watches it go off the back ball. Well, the Rays with 10 hits. They are 15 and 0 when they gather at least 10 hits. Trying to go 16 and 0. Three, two, strike, three calls, and that ends it. The Rays will finish with 11 strikeouts, and they win this game 7-2.